Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo, and today is Thursday, October 17th. We're going to do a fun video today, one I know that a lot of our viewers really enjoy. Uh, it's one of my favorites to do. We're going to take a look at all of the plush that sold on eBay last month in September. I did take a total count. There were 32 total plush that sold over the month. September has 30 days. Still averages out to just about one a day, which is a 0.2% sell-through rate. So plush is very long tail, like I tell you guys. It does take a while to sell. It's slower than used clothing in most instances. Sometimes you'll find really sought after rare or unique plush or some character that's hard for people to find and it will flip pretty fast for you. But generally speaking, plush is super duper long tail and its sell through rate is going to be a little bit lower than even used clothing. Our used clothing um, sell through rate historically has been 0.5% and our plush for September was 0.2%. So I'm pretty pleased with that number. That's pretty good for plush. Of course, if you have a lot more plush listed, you're going to sell more. You may have a higher sell through rate. We have give or take 2,000 listings. Sometimes we hover just above and sometimes just below. And at any given time, we have about 450 to 500 plush listed, give or take again, I'm trying to do, you know, like the average. Um, so it's about 25% of our total store is plush. So 0.2% sell through rate on plush, we're super duper happy with. Um, but if you're someone who had like a thousand or 1500 or 2000 plush or a whole plush centric store, your sell through rate is going to be a little bit higher because just like with anything, the more you have listed, the more you're going to sell. So let's just jump in and take a look at all of my friends that found their new forever homes in September of 2019. We're going to start with the mistake plush. He was featured in a what sold video that I showed pretty recently. This was a super duper cute plush. It is a Gans Webkins. You guys, these Gans Webkins are hit or miss. I tell you that all the time. I pick them up, I bring them home, I take the risk, I get them for 50 cents. This guy was 50 cents. And I've had um, certain animals without the code go for more money than certain animals with the code. So it really depends on the animal that you have. You can comp them at the store before you purchase them or the yard sale or wherever you're at. I don't. If they're under a dollar, I just buy them and bring them home. Um, this one had his code. Very unique. Her, I guess. This is her. It's a pink giraffe, right? Uh, this was a really nice one. I listed it at $16. And when I was sending out offers to watchers one day on eBay, I was going really fast and unfortunately not paying enough attention to what I was doing. I meant to send out a $14 offer and I sent out a $4 offer and of course they accepted, who wouldn't? Um, so I did show this in one of the what sold videos just as kind of like a heads up to you guys. I like for you to learn through my mistakes so you don't have your own mistakes if you can learn through mine. Just be mindful. If you're sending out a ton of offers at one time, to pay attention and not get going too fast like I tend to do. I did honor the sale. I didn't cancel it. I honored it. So we took a loss on this giraffe. He cost us 50 cents. He cost about three to ship. They paid four total. So uh, just uh, watch how fast you go. I know that we all like, you know, copy paste or we get going really fast, but um, can't result in a mistake like that. And I would not suggest canceling it. Just eat it, eat the cost, it's part of business. Now you're looking at a nine inch Pooh Bear. Nothing too fancy, nothing too exciting. He was a 50 cent Pooh Bear at the Goodwill. He was Disney, but he was just play. So you guys know when I talk about Disney, if they are the Walt Disney or Disney Parks or Disney Store plush, they are gonna be worth more money than the Disney that is just play, Hasbro, Mattel, things like that. I still pick them up when they're cheap enough. He was 50 cents. That was fine to me. I accepted a best offer of 10 on this Pooh Bear. He shipped first class in a poly bag. Here is Thidwick the Moose from one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. Thidwick the Kind-Hearted Moose? Or is it the Soft? I think it's the Kind-Hearted Moose. It's a really cute book. 
Um, I used to read to my kids all the time. And we like moose, meese, mice, mooses. Anyway, Thidwick is a Coles Cares plush. Coles Cares is one of those you want to keep an eye out for, but you don't want to spend too much money on. I've seen certain Coles Cares, like if the mouse from If You Give a Mouse a Cookie can go like for 20 bucks, and some don't go for quite as much. Thidwick was 50 cents, so I was fine with accepting a best offer of $9 on him. He shipped first class in a poly bag. Here we have a minion. This one had damage on his goggles. You can see right there in the photo. He's a wee little minion. Not very big. He was 50 cents at the Goodwill. He has really nice hang tags and everything. Um, or he did have, I guess. I said he's 50 cents, right? He was 50 cents at Goodwill. I accepted a best offer of $9. I probably would have tried to hold out more for 10 or 11 on a minion. Even one this size with the hang tag and everything. But because of the damage on his goggles, I was happy to take nine. And he shipped first class in a poly bag. Most of these plush that ship first class are three ounces, two ounces, or four ounces. They're very small and lightweight. Almost like mailing a tie. This guy is so cute. So he's a TY Beanie Boo or a Thai Beanie Boo. He has the glitter eyes. His eyes had damage. Um, the Beanie Boos with the glitter eyes are more of a bolo than the ones without. I pick them both up, but the ones with glitter eyes can fetch a higher price and they're more popular. More people look for the glitter eyes. This is what they look like regardless of the color. They have glitter in there. Poor Romeo had scratches on his eyes, <laughs> but he's still so super cute. We already got feedback on this one. Um, the buyer was super pleased. She even mentioned in her feedback that she loves the little heart in his mouth. Um, he's a really cute plush. Anyway, he was 50 cents and I accepted a best offer of 11 on him. And even though he's one of the larger Beanie Boos, you can see he's like a foot long versus like the ones that are 6 to 8 inches. He shipped first class in a poly bag and he didn't weigh very much. And here we have a Scooby-Doo plush. This little guy was also 50 cents at the Goodwill. And I accepted a best offer of $15.08 on him. I, one of those weird offers you get with the weird numbers people do. Uh, they offered $15.08, which I was happy to take. And even though he's kind of tall and bigger, he didn't weigh much. So Scooby went in a poly bag, first class to his new forever home. Here we have a big Ninja Turtle. This is another one that looks like he would weigh a lot. He's really big. You can see him here with his measuring tape that he's two feet long. Um, but he didn't weigh much at all. I think it was 10, 11 ounces. So we folded his legs up against his chest. He's a stuffed animal. It is okay to bend them and stuff them into bags and boxes, you guys. So they'll, they'll live. <laughs> so he went in a poly bag. We had to get a larger poly bag out, of course. Uh, but he shipped first class. He did not weigh that much at all, even though he's two feet long. So don't be afraid of those larger plush at the store. Pick them up and kind of feel them. Um, or the yard sales, wherever, church sales, wherever you're at where you're sourcing. When you see plush this big, kind of feel them out. Because a lot of them are th that are this big, they don't weigh a pound. They're still under a pound, and they would still ship first class, and they're good flips. So anyway, this turtle was 50 cents, believe it or not, at the Goodwill. And he sold for full price of $19.69. And here we have another T.Y. Beanie Boo, or Thai Beanie Boo. This one is Charlotte. She is a Claire's exclusive. So when you find plush out there that are an exclusive or paired up with another brand, two brands coming together, those are definitely bolos. Claire's is a... A store in the mall that sold accessories. I don't know if they're still around. All the ones around me, I think, are out of business. Um, but I still picked her up. She also has the glitter eyes. And she's super cute. So, Charlotte sold for $15. She cost $0.50 cents at Goodwill. She sold for $15. She shipped in a poly bag. I did put one wrap around her head and body to kind of protect her hang tag and her eyeballs. Since she was a more expensive plush, um, I did wrap her in bubble wrap and then put her in tissue paper and the poly bag. Here we have a Rocket Raccoon from 
Guardians of the Galaxy. He's an official Marvel plush. 50 cents at the Goodwill. He still talked. He worked great. So I listed him for $21. I took a best offer of 19 on him. And he shipped first class. I did put him in a box because he's a talker. Um, he didn't have like the opening on him to go in ahead and go in and take his batteries out like a lot of the electronic plush do. Some of the talking or electronic plush, you just push them and they talk and they don't have an opening anywhere. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So I did put them in a box because I didn't want them to get pushed a whole bunch on the way there and talk and possibly stop working or run out of his life before he got to his new forever people. Here is another pink giraffe. I don't know what it was, but for a while there, a couple weekends in a row, I was finding pink giraffes all over the place. This one's by Adventure Planet, which is a good bolo for these wild animal plush. He was 50 cents at the Goodwill. I listed it for 12, accepted a best offer of 10.50, and it shipped first class in a poly bag. Here is Jake and the Neverland Pirates plush, and he is from a Disney. Junior show, and you can see he's a Disney Just Play. 50 cents at the Goodwill, sold for $11, shipped first class in a poly bag. We have a little Charlie Brown here. This little Charlie Brown's been around forever because he came from the bins, and we really haven't been to the bins in like over a year. Um, so, by weight, Charlie Brown here, probably 5, 10 cents, very small. Um, let's see him next to his, yeah, he's 10 inches. He wasn't very big at all. He was around for a while. He took a little bit longer to sell, which is kind of surprising because he does play music. He's just super cute. And he sold for $11 and he shipped in a little tiny box, just like Rocket did, just to protect him in transit because he was a talker or an electronic flesh. Here is a Build-A-Bear, My Little Pony. Y'all, Build-A-Bear and My Little Pony are both po uh, both polos. They're polos. No, they're bolos. My Little Pony and Build-A-Bear are both bolos in the plush world. And when you find them that they're both, it's even better. This one had a weird mark on her tush. <laughs> I might put it in the description to let them know. Um, this one, I believe, was $1.99 at the Goodwill. Listed her for $24 and accepted a best offer of 19 Now, she did weigh over a pound, so I did have calculated shipping on her. You can see right here. Here's Rumpy Cat. She came from the bins. So, by weight, $0.5, 10 cents maybe. Been around for a very long time, just like Charlie Brown. In fact, they may, they may have both come from the same trip to the bins. This was surprising that it sat for so long. Grumpy Cat's still pretty popular. And then the actual cat passed away and she still sat for a while. But she did sell for $8.50 best offer I accepted and shipped first class. This little guy is so cute. This is an example of the Gans Webkins that I took a chance on um, and brought home. I paid a dollar for this because in my mind, it's a possum. With or without the coat, it's a more unique animal, a harder to find animal, and those usually are worth more when you go to comp them. I was wrong. That's okay. Except the best offer of 10, and the possum did ship first class. So even paying a dollar for it, it wasn't a total loss, and I would risk it again. Um, I do keep my eyes out always for these more obscure animals like this. The harder to find ones, they usually um, they usually do command more money and they do flip faster. Um, this is a Squishmallows, Fifi the Fox, fifty cents at the Goodwill, super cute, and she sold for eleven dollars. Accepted a best offer of eleven for her. She was very small. Uh, I think she weighed like an ounce. And so she shipped first class. And then we have a Care Bears Bear. This one had a little bit of damage on the top of its head. They usually have like a little tuft or a little curl of hair on the tops of their heads. His was cut off. And then his tush heart right there is kind of faded. And that's okay. Care Bears are a definite bolo. I pick them up even with damage like that. This one was 50 cents at the Goodwill. And it sold for $14.06, and it shipped first class in a poly bag. 
This is a tiny little Build-A-Bear. Got it at a yard sale. Uh, very beginning of the summer, I got 44 plush at one yard sale, and the lady took, like, I think $10 for the whole thing. It was like a quarter a piece. I came home with a ton of plush from her. Uh, this little Build-A-Bear sold for $10. Accepted a best offer and it shipped first class in a poly bag. Here we have a nice looking Simba from The Lion King. And he has the exclusive authentic Disney Store original uh, stamp of approval on his paw. These Disney Store plush are absolutely something you guys should be picking up. This one was 50 cents at the Goodwill and sold for $18. And he shipped first class in a poly. This flamingo bag I found for 99 cents, I think. It was 99 cents at Goodwill. And I picked it up just because it was so unique looking. It's a pink flamingo. It's a backpack. It's got toes. I don't know. It's just really cute. Look at his little toenails. Uh, so I paid 99 cents for it. And it sold for a best offer of 14 And it shipped first class. We just folded the legs up in and... Wrapped it up and put it in a poly bag. Here's another Thai Beanie Boo. This one is an elephant and has glitter eyes. 50 cents at Goodwill. Um, specs the elephant. There you go. Has specs. It's spotted. Uh, of course, I picked it up because it was only 50 cents. I'm willing to risk that. I thought it would be a little bit more than what it went for because it was so unique and different. Uh, I comped it. People were letting this one go for like four and five bucks, which is crazy. I don't know how they do that. So I listed mine at 12 with best offer, accepted a best offer of eight. Um, and just to give you guys like an idea, um, this elephant wasn't even around for a month. So it's okay if you have something and you comp it and every other turd in the world is selling it or giving it away or paying people to take it off their hands because they have it priced so low with free shipping. Um, it's okay to price high if you can back up your price. If you have good photos, if you have solid lighting and really good photos of your item, you have plenty of um, photos of you know all sides, you show it next to a measuring tape, you have all the good keywords in your title and you're following that secret formula in your title that eBay likes or Cassini likes which is the algorithm on eBay. If you follow all best practices and your listing is super good, it will stand out from the competition and you can absolutely charge more and no, you won't be sitting on your item forever. Everyone else is selling a lot of these Beanie Boos you see us sell for eight to 12 bucks or like that one cat that went for 15. I comp them and they're going for five, six bucks free ship. I don't like it, so I do what I want. And they don't sit forever. They don't take forever because sometimes buyers will see more value in an item that's priced higher. Yours looks better. You have better photos. You have better lighting. They're going to see more value in yours and they're going to wonder what's wrong with those other ones that are, you know, darker photos taken on the floor or on a couch and they're priced so cheap. So don't be afraid to price high. I know that's one of my soapboxes. Um, but especially with plush. Because I think a lot of people don't understand or see the value in plush. You can tell that when you're outsourcing. Um, if you ever go to dig through the plush, you're like the only person there looking through them. But people don't see their value. And if you do see their value, give them their value. Give them good photos. Give them good titles. And price them what they're worth. And here we have a, a wounded Dory. She's missing a fin. This was part of the big lot at the yard sale I just talked about. Where I got like 40 plush for 10 bucks. It was 44 plush for 10 bucks, I think. Um, this is a Disney Pixar tie sparkle. She was missing a fan. That's okay. I listed her for 9 bucks just because she did have, you know, some major damage going on there. And she sold for 9 Shipped first class in a poly bag. And then we have an Olaf. You guys. Frozen is hot right now. Frozen is a bolo. Frozen 2 is coming out next month in November to theaters and kids all over the world are going to go crazy and they're going to want all the Elsa and Anna dolls, all the Olaf dolls, the Sven the Moose. They're going to want all these characters. This is going to be a really, really hot item. 
especially with the movie coming out so close to Christmas and all the children wanting things from this movie. It's going to be popular again. So if you see anything from Frozen, bolo, 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 grab it up. This Olaf was 50 cents at the Goodwill. It did not, uh, it had some minor flaws, sorry. And he does talk, so he went for the $14 I was asking for, and he shipped first class. And then we have a classic toy company, Dragon. Classic toy company is one of those brands I talk about often. It's a bolo, but it's not a good, it's, they're cheap toys. They're made for like claw machines or carnival prizes. But for whatever reason, the classic toy company definitely has a following. There are people that love this brand of plush, especially the dragons. We do really well with these dragons. This one only took like a week to sell, maybe even a little bit less than that. 50 cents at Goodwill, sold for $17.81, shipped first class in a poly. Dandy Collector's Choice is another brand I tell you guys to look out for. It can be kind of hit or miss though, like the Webkins and the Thai Beanie Boos. You can get some home that are worth a lot and sometimes they're not. This particular Panda Bear, I listed for, for um, $18.75 and it went on a 25% off sale for $14.06 and sold for that and shipped first class in Nepali. Here we have a Wild Republic bat. Wild Republic is another brand you guys should be looking for. Uh, especially the ones that have the different zoos on the wooden wooden disc attached to them. I usually find these most commonly because we live near the Pittsburgh Zoo. I have found other zoos. I found them without that though. It's just these Wild Republic. They make plush of the more obscure animals like I was just talking about that are harder to find. This bat sold for $21 within a day of listing it. And it costs 50 cents at the Goodwill. So keep your eyes out for these Wild Republic animals. Um, they are definitely something you should be looking out for. His wings wrapped around him for shipping. And he went in a poly. First class. Next we are going to look at another Thai Beanie Boo. Again with the glitter eyes. This one's name was Pearl. And she's also Velvetai. So these Velvetai. And then they have like a silk version on some of them. I do grab those. Pearl was 50 cents and she sold for $12. Pretty much within a couple weeks of putting her up. Um, she and the other cat from Claire's went up the same day. And she shipped first class. And here we have another Beanie Boo. His eyes are not glitter. So this is, a, is an example um, of one I would pick up without the glitter eyes. This is Speckles. Speckles was 50 cents at Goodwill, and he sold for $11.25, and he shipped first class. We have a big My Little Pony here. This is the 25th anniversary celebration, birthday, My Little Pony, Pinkie Pie. Um, she says Pinkie Pie on her tush tag, but I kind of am starting to learn some of the My Little Ponies that I see more commonly and I know the one with the balloons is Pinkie Pie. It's a Hasbro, but it was big. You can see she's uh, 21 inches, so almost two feet long. She did weigh over a pound, so I had her up with calculated shipping. She sold for $16.88 plus the buyer paid shipping. And so she went into a priority box to her new forever home. Here's another classic toy company. This one's a lobster. Um, these, again, these animals that aren't common, that are harder to find, that aren't, you know, mass produced like bears and lions and tigers, oh my. Um, these are, you definitely want to pick up. This lobster was 50 cents. He sold for $16.88 overnight. He sold the same night I got him listed. I have a red one in my death pile. I need to get that up. I picked up the red one like a week later because. I had just sold the blue one. I'm like, oh, maybe the red one will do as good as he did. Um, so keep your eye out for the classic toy company and keep your eye out for these um, harder to find, more obscure animals. But speaking of common, this is a dog. It's a Build-A-Bear, 
but it's a dog. It's a very plain dog. It's not a popular character from pop culture. It's not recognizable. It's just a dog. It's naked. It has no clothes. It's still sold for $19. And he was 50 cents at the Goodwill. So these plain bears and plain dogs, I still pick them up. I know some people go to the bins and strip the bears and the dogs and just bring the clothes home, which is good. The clothes from Build-A-Bear do really, really well. And I usually strip mine as well, but I, I sell them both. Um, so you can see here for a plain dog, I got $19. Um, so don't be afraid of the plain Build-A-Bear either, guys, if you're finding them cheap enough. He was 50 cents. I decided to bring him home and see what happened. And he sold for 19 and he shipped first class. So that is a look at all of the plush that sold in our store in September. And um, I'll be back tomorrow, I believe, with the jeans that sold in September. I'm a little behind on some of my um, what sold videos as far as picking one particular type of item to show you guys. Just to give you an idea of what moves for us and what you should be looking for when you're outsourcing. I'm trying to get caught up with those before we leave for Florida next week. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you've flipped any cool plush lately, if you've sourced or found any cool plush lately. I love to hear from you guys, especially when it's about my favorite thing in the whole world, which is plush. Hit the like button before you leave, guys. It really, really helps the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. We are the Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod on Facebook. Link to join us in the description box down below. And you can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos on all social media. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful evening. Thank you so, so much for watching.